So how do you make a shield build in Torchlight Infinite? And how does it differ from a regular old life build? One of the biggest differences is shield automatically recharges when you haven't taken damage for a certain amount of time. If you take damage again after it starts charging, the charge will be interrupted. But on the other hand, you don't get the same sort of health recovery that's available to life. There's no shield regeneration, and you don't get potions or sources for your shield, which means that shield builds will often struggle for recovery. It's pretty easy to get a very large health pool as a shield build. Five, six, or even 7,000 isn't unreasonable. But if that charge gets interrupted, you're going to be in trouble quickly. And this effect gets even worse when enemies use damage over time, so that you get hit, you start to charge, maybe use your forced start, and then your damage over time ticks, and you're set back to zero, except now your health is still going down, but it won't be going up for quite a while. So quite often, playing a shield build leaves you vulnerable to getting hit once and then dying a death of a thousand cuts. The main solution that I found to this is the Light Hunter belt. Now your charge can't be interrupted. It also converts a percentage of your life into shield, meaning if you're going low life, then this is pretty ideal. However, it has its own problem. 6% less charge rate per 5% shield that you have. This means once you reach 85% of your maximum shield, you'll be unable to recover more. On the one hand, that means your shield is technically always charging, so as soon as you take damage, it will start to bump up again. The downside is you're losing about 15% of your total health pool to do this, which isn't a great sacrifice. Now luckily, I have a simple solution. Just corrode it until you hit the Emberized version. The Emberized version instead says that you gain 6% charge speed for every 5% of your total shield that you're missing. This way, you can use Force Start to jumpstart the charging. After all, it still can't be interrupted assuming that you didn't accidentally Emberize that other line on your belt. Or alternatively, you could use something like Twilight Vestment to get it going as soon as you reap an enemy. Plus, now, the more you're damaged, the better your charge gets, which makes you feel super tanky. Can you still get one shot? Yes, in some cases you can still get one shot. Is there still a cooldown on Force Start? Absolutely. Though, it's pretty darn quick, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. And you still need other defenses, resists, and physical mitigation. Absolutely yes. If you don't have any of these, you're still going to go splat to fizz damage, or another big spiky hit that happens to crit you. But overall, I would say that Light Hunter Belt is really difficult to replace in the shield build. And for most, if you can get a corrupted version, it's absolutely going to be your best in slot option. Crawl Investment is an alternate solution if you have enough reaps going off every half second. But if you don't, it's going to feel really awkward when your shield starts charging, and then you take damage and it immediately gets knocked off, keeping you at low health. Now, if you're wondering what build I'm playing, then get subscribed, and while you're done there, leave a like. I will be talking more about this build and some of the build's other mechanics in an upcoming video. On the other hand, if you have any other questions about shield builds, then be sure to leave them down in the comments below. Before I go, a special thanks to my patrons and channel members for their continued support. For as low as $1 a month, you can help make more videos just like this one possible. If you want to hop in and join the conversation for yourself, then join the Discord and react to give yourself a community role so you can start talking in the Torchlight Infinite channel. And if you have more questions about Torchlight Infinite, maybe you're looking for something else to watch, there should be a video on screen right now that YouTube thinks you'd be interested in watching, or you can check the card for a list of resources that I've curated which I think will be useful to people who watch this video. And who knows, maybe now is the best time for your next build to be a shield build.